Good evening, YouTube. Today is January 1st, 2019, and it is a blustery 37 degrees and windy. 37 degrees Fahrenheit, about 3 degrees centigrade. And this is the one year mark of this test. So we will see how everything is holding up and we'll foam it down, wash it, rinse it, and see what's gonna happen. Uh, just to recap, Everything on the top row, except for new finish, has failed as of the last test, which was November of 2018. So that would have been at the 11, eh, 10, 11 month mark. The next row down, we have Sea Quartz UK and Kisho 811 that are still holding up as of the last test. And the next Next row, you have IGL Premier, IGL Eclipse, Kisho XO3, Opti Gloss Coat, Ceramic Pro Light on that row. And then on the bottom row, everything was still going except for the Chinese eBay coating, which is the Mr. Fix 9H. So without further ado, we will foam it down and see how things are holding up. The wind is picking up here, but have it washed. Let's rinse it, see how things are looking. Wow, lots of changes. So at the one year mark, new finish, unbelievably still going, starting to show signs of failure. Sea Quartz UK still holding up very well. Kisho 811, uh, it's getting there, but I'm gonna, it'll get a pass this month. On the bottom, we have everything holding up except the Chinese coating and Glossit 7H has completely failed. Looks like Ceramic Pro Light is on its way out. Opti, we're gonna give that a fail. Kisho XO3 still going. Flyover, I'm gonna call that one pretty much gone. Ceramic Boost is gone. Eclipse and Premier is still going. Kinzo, Quartz, everything else on the bottom still looks okay. I think the best hydrophobics right now are uh, Sea Quartz UK, that's the original version, and IGL Kenzo Quartz and Adams Paint Coating. Those seem to be holding up quite well. Uh, you can see like Ceramic Pro 9H, it sticks to it, but then the water runs away eventually. So like for this month, Ceramic Pro 9H is gonna have uh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna give it well I don't know see and then the, the water starts sheeting off like that so I think it'll get a pass this month I, I almost gave it a fail but when you watch watch real close when the when the water sprays on it it'll sheet it'll stick to it be kind of hydrophilic and then and then go away Whereas over here, you have Kinzo, Quartz, some of these. See how the water immediately runs off of it. So, big difference. So, we have lots of changes this month. Look in the picture right after this video here, and I'll show you all the failure times. Mm. 
All right, so the one year mark, that's how we're looking. And we've had uh, about 12 inches of rain in the last two months. What is that, 30 centimeters or so? And uh, temperatures ranging anywhere from 75 Fahrenheit down to 20. Oh, hold on, let me grab my piece of paper here that had the weather on it. 75 to 24 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 24 centigrade to minus four and a half. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty significant temperature changes. And we uh, actually had a little dusting of snow even, but I wouldn't call that significant. So anyway, subscribe, like, share, hit that bell so you can uh, you can be notified when we post a new video. And as always, we're going to be taking suggestions on the next test. I originally was going to start it today, January 1st, but I am uh, kind of trying to get caught up from the holidays. So this is, this is what you get right now. Uh, we've already got a lot of products coming in for the next test. So we have Secorts 3.0, Colonite, uh, Modesta, Opti, uh, diff different version, different levels of Opti, uh, G-Technic V2, V3 Ultra Crystal Serum. We have John's 360 coating. There's Kenzo again. I'm a Kenzo installer, so of course I'm going to put that one in there. And anything else that you guys have requested, I will try to make it on the next hood. I'm going to try to get a large truck hood so I can fit about 40 products on there. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Please share this with your friends. Thank you.